In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create custom URL categories in our Palo Alto. Once we've created the custom URL categories, we can then begin to filter or allow access to these websites based on these custom categories. For example, we might want to do this if we are, say, Google. Uh, since Google has a lot of investment into their web search engines, maybe they want to restrict what kind of search engines are used inside their company. So Google only wants people to use google.com, which means if they go to bing.com or say duckduckgo, they want these to be denied. Now there is a category already in the Palo Alto for search engines but we don't want to block all search engines, we just want to block specific ones. So let's take a look at how we might do that. Here we have our existing configuration. It's fairly simple. Basically everything is allowed from our inside to the outside. No applications, no URLs, no restrictions whatsoever. Everything is allowed. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a custom URL category. A URL category is an object, so therefore it would be under the Objects tab. And then on the left hand side we want to look under Custom Objects and specifically a URL category object. So we select on that and then we say Add. Here we can go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, Block Other Search Engines. And then under sites, I'm just going to add in specifically bing.com. Um, I'm actually going to do say bing.com and then add and star.bing.com. That will allow us to block not just bing.com, but also like images.bing.com or any other name that starts before bing.com. Same thing for duckduckgo and star.duckduckgo.com and OK. Now that I have the block search engines option available, I'm then going to go to policies and I'll start off by cloning my outside, my external facing policy. Uh, I'll put this at the top and then edit that. And let's go ahead and rename this block search engines. Uh, so source is still inside, destination is outside. Under the service slash URL category, I want to add in my custom category here that I just created, block other search engines. And then actions, I want to set to deny. Okay. And before I commit this, let's go ahead and let's go to Bing and DuckDuckGo and make sure that these guys are loading up. Perfect. Uh, might as well do Google at the same time. So Bing should, we want to block. DuckDuckGo we want to block, but Google we want to allow. So let's go ahead and commit our change. Now again, as I mentioned before, the process should work from the top down. Since rule number one is to block the search engines, it should block anything that matches those, those URL categories, which we customized, uh, before it gets to the full outside rule. So let's go ahead and try it. If we go to Bing and click refresh, we now get an application block page. Specifically, hey, here's the URL. Uh, remember, we said bing.com or star.bing.com, which captures the www in front of it, uh, with our customized category of block other search engines. Do the same thing for DuckDuckGo. Because this is SSL, we get a funky kind of error message. If we had SSL uh, decryption enabled, it would allow us to have the customized error message there. And then Google.com, because we didn't block Google, it is now allowed in. So there you go. That's how you would create a custom URL category to allow you to specifically block specific websites or allow specific websites to your organization that don't necessarily fall within the existing categories.